California's number one station for news, the Channel 4 News. Millions watch a Thanksgiving tradition, but gusty winds make for a mess at the Macy's Parade. While here in the Southland, millions of families are getting together to celebrate the most American of holidays, the day when everyone has something to be thankful for. Good evening and happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm Kelly Mack. And I'm Fernell Chuck. Tonight's a uh, night of uh, memories, memories to be made and all over Southern California. The spirit of thanks is overflowing along with the food. Patrick Healy is in Pasadena right now with a look at some celebrations across the Southland. Patrick. Kelly, for now, lots of food. So, okay, restaurants like Beckham Place were not around way back when to serve the pilgrims, but there's a whole lot more to America's ho oldest holiday than where you eat, as we've learned from the families we've been visiting. First, the Williamses. 377 years it's been since the pilgrims roasted America's first holiday turkey, yet some traditions never change. From the main course to the gathering of families and friends to the theme of counting our blessings. My family and that I have a good home. My wonderful grandma, grandfather, mom, dad, my nieces. Hardly. On this holiday where feasting now precedes shopping, Diehard devotees of fashion take their turkey in line so they can hold their position for the sale at the St. John's Knits warehouse. I am thankful for my mother and my sister and being able to spend Thanksgiving with them, even if it is in a parking lot. <laughs> Still other celebrants prefer to let professionals prepare and serve their feasts. It would be more fun to go out and also everybody could have a different thing. And looking around this evening, you can't help but wonder if the pilgrims had ever imagined if their holiday would become so deep a part of American life. Reporting live from Pasadena, I'm Patrick Healy, Channel 4 News, wishing you a happy Thanksgiving as well. Thank you, Patrick, and to you as well. Macy's traditional Thanksgiving parade kicked off the holiday season today with high winds causing some injuries among the spectators. The world-famous Radio City Rocket. There was plenty of music, color, and fun at the 71st Annual Thanksgiving Parade. NBC's Katie Couric and Willard Scott were on hand, along with lots of stars, marching groups, and giant balloons. But high winds caused some problems when one giant balloon knocked off part of a light pole, injuring four people. Authorities say the eight-foot cat-in-the-hat balloon hit the pole and knocked the top of it to the ground. It struck four people, one woman was critically injured, and another is in stable condition. The other two victims had only minor injuries. President Clinton is celebrating the holiday with his family at Camp David after getting in a round of golf. The president teed off with his brothers-in-law early today. Later, he had a traditional turkey dinner with First Lady Hillary Clinton and their daughter Chelsea, home from Stanford University. Also today, Clinton, Mr. Clinton delivered a Thanksgiving radio message to the nation. He urged everyone to give thanks for America's many blessings. Meantime, some 8,000 American troops celebrated the holiday today far from home in Bosnia. They miss being with family, but they're grateful for friends. When my unit is celebrating Thanksgiving together as a family, I feel good that we're together celebrating and we're thinking of the people back home. The holiday dinner was a welcome break as U.S. troops continue to be part of the stabilization force in Bosnia. Yet another Thanksgiving celebration aboard the space station Mir. Astronaut David Wolf and his cosmonaut friends showed off their packaged dinners. And on the space shuttle Columbia, another festive day. Happy Thanksgiving to you. We're going to celebrate it here. And right after this interview with a meal of turkey and cranberry sauce and some pumpkin cookies and pecan pies. So about as traditional as you can get uh, being 150 miles up. Yeah, but it was freeze-dried. Four of the six Columbia crew members chose a regular turkey dinner. Another is having smoked turkey, and one ordered that traditional Thanksgiving steak. And what a beautiful day today to celebrate the holiday, especially after yesterday's fierce storm. A beautiful, crisp, and clear day here in the Southland. And up in the mountains, it was a winter wonderland, as snow made for a perfect Thanksgiving. Joe Rico has more on that part of the story. At a time when images everything, that picture of Thanksgiving holiday nirvana is 8,000 feet up and two hours northeast of downtown Los Angeles. Wrightwood. Uh, I think it's a perfect day to go. It just snowed last night. While yesterday's storm drenched Los Angeles, it smiled upon the slopes of Mountain High Ski Resort. Add to that some help from snow-blowing machines going full tilt, and things got postcard perfect 
in a hurry. I gave up Thanksgiving dinner and everything to go skiing. And I think it's amazing that I can lay out in San Diego yesterday and then come snow ski here today. Mountain High got the jump on Southern California's other ski resorts by opening today. Those other resorts along Big Bear are scheduled to open tomorrow. We had about five inches last night and uh, we added about another five, six, seven to that. We have about a 10 to 12 inch base right now. A Thanksgiving Day winter wonderland in Southern California. It is rare and too good to pass up, no matter how much it might hurt. So this is my first time going up. Oh! So if you see me tumbling, and I'll be the only guy tumbling, then put the camera on me. It's at 2 o'clock. Okay. We go on the air at 6. Okay. You might get down on time. <laughs> Hopefully I will. Go get them. Okay. And she is also thankful knowing that by the time she reaches bottom, she'll arrive just in time for night skiing. Lights out at 10 o'clock. Joe Rico, Channel 4 News, Wrightwood. Other local ski areas such as Snow Summit and Bear Mountain say they plan to open for skiing tomorrow. A landmark restaurant owned by none other than Mayor Richard Reardon is back open after being shut down by health inspectors. It took a phone call from the mayor to get the original Pantry Cafe reinspected on Thanksgiving Day. Employees worked through the night to correct the health code violations. Early this morning, the 24-hour cafe got the okay to reopen. I did not ask him why we were closed down. As I said before, uh, I've learned in politics, you play with the cards dealt you, and you don't look back, you look forward. Didn't affect business. Loyal customers later packed the place. Unfortunately, this Thanksgiving Day is not without tragedy. Today, search teams found a third victim who was swept down the swift waters of the Rio Hondo River. It was just after noon when a diver discovered the 17-year-old boy's body submerged in a storm runoff drain. He'd been identified as Raul Nall, a brother of one of the two other victims who drowned in the rain-swollen river. Nall and his sister were with three other classmates when they were swept into the Alhambra wash yesterday. Only two of them were rescued and survived. Tonight, the principal of the teen's high school says she's heartbroken. School officials at San Gabriel High have since taken down that rope ladder leading from the campus to the wash below. A Costa Mesa woman is especially thankful tonight after surviving an attack by a suspected carjacker. The woman was leaving this donut shop in Pomona when a knife-wielding man jumped into her car through an unlocked passenger door. Both then drove around the city until they got to this intersection. That's when the woman saw a police car and then made her daring escape. In her mind, she was afraid what this guy was going to do to her in terms of maybe killing her or raping her. So she felt that this was going to be the best opportunity she would have to try to get away. Well, the woman was injured. The, she was stabbed twice and taken to the hospital with a broken rib and a punctured lung. The suspect was arrested after police chased him down. Well, a lot more ahead on the news at 6. Talk about wild rides. This jet makes an emergency landing without a wheel. You'll see. Also, there's a break in the case of a daring and deadly armored car robbery in California. And it's up in orbit tonight. NASA picks Thanksgiving to send a rocket toward the heavens. But first, a live look outside from our valley camera. Beautiful shot of downtown Los Angeles. The forecast and more ahead. What's the magic number this Thanksgiving? Zero down. Now through Monday, get zero down on all new Chryslers and Plymouths. And make no monthly payments until April on all new Chryslers and Plymouths. Choose Plymouth Neon and get $1,500 cash back. Or get up to $1,250 in total savings on Plymouth Voyager. The big news, six days only. Zero down and deferred first payment financing ends Monday. Zero in on it at Southern California Chrysler and Plymouth. It's the way we get around. Every kid deserves a chance, but age is no excuse for crime. Al Checky, prevent crime and punish it. Early intervention with troubled kids. Tough and racketeering laws to prosecute gangs as criminal conspiracies. Zero tolerance for domestic violence. Arrest and prosecute all offenders. Enact a death penalty for serial rapists and repeat child molesters. Killing the spirit of a woman or child is and should be a capital offense. Real world experience, new ideas. Checky for governor. Thank you.
This 900 megahertz cordless phone is only $59.99. And that's just the beginning of the savings at Circuit City's holiday sale. We have the season's best gifts at guaranteed low prices, and we can answer all your questions. If a new computer is at the top of your list, our holiday sale is the place to get a $400 price break on this Toshiba Multimedia Notebook computer, just $15.99.99. You don't have to look all over the city for low prices. Just come to Circuit City's holiday sale. Going on now. Where once these ancient nameplates ruled, now each of them succumbs. For paradigms doth shift when something wicked this way comes. Introducing an automobile that outperforms the competition everywhere, including the bottom line, the faster, sleeker, meaner GS. See it now at your Southern California Lexus dealer. Overseas, the situation in Iraq took a bad turn today as Saddam Hussein reneged on his agreement to let UN inspectors have access to his personal palaces. Saddam claims there are no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq and that all obligations to the UN have been met. Today, only international experts and diplomats were welcome to enter Saddam's 63 palaces, but UN inspectors were not allowed. The U.S., of course, has very strong objections to this, the U.S. wants inspectors to have full access to all palaces. And tonight, American forces remain on alert in the Persian Gulf. An armored car guard wanted for pulling a heist and murdering his own partner has been caught in Utah. Authorities found the armored truck earlier this week in Oakland inside a dead guard. The other missing guard has been arrested today during a routine traffic stop outside Salt Lake City. The suspect is identified as 20-year-old Thomas Wheelock. As for the money, most of the $300,000 stolen was found yesterday in a Sacramento hotel room. That room was rented to Wheelock. Some scary moments aboard a cargo plane that was forced to make an emergency landing. Take a look. It happened in Belgium. The plane was coming in from England when the nose wheel failed to go down. Witnesses say the pilot pulled off a textbook nose landing in a shower of sparks. Crew members walked away with no injuries reported. Well, here at home, a placentia detective has something to be very thankful for tonight. After 43 years, she has finally found her birth mother. Vicki Vargas with this inspiring story of hope. Um, who gave me this coat? Where did this bib come from? All her life, Corrine Lewis has had questions. She was born Evania Kukese. Eleven days later, her mother left her at this Greek orphanage. Greece was an extremely poor country in the 50s. It wasn't a question of you keep your baby and your baby won't have enough to eat. For many of these women, you keep your baby, that baby's going to die. Within 17 months, the baby was no longer a number. She was adopted by an American couple, Ray and Claire Witt. There was a passport, a new name, and a new life. Now, after 43 years, Loomis has found the woman who gave her that life in a small Greek village outside Athens. When I saw her, I immediately recognized her, and, and there was an air of familiarity, but at the same time, this person's a stranger. The Yorba Linda woman says she wasn't looking for a family, but she found one, a brother and a sister. And she found a way of life she can't even fathom. Her mother and sister work in a raisin factory. What really hit Corrine Loomis are the vast differences between she and her birth mother. Kirio Kupolis cannot read or write. Corrine Loomis is a detective here at the Placentia Police Department. When they met, Loomis says her birth mother asked for forgiveness. There is nothing to forgive, she told her. She could have tried to make it on her own and said, I can't give up my baby and, you know, I'm going to do the best I can and soldier on. But she was unselfish enough to think that someone else could give me a better life. Vicki Vargas, Channel 4 News. Wow. What a story. Well, Loomis was one of thousands of Greek babies that were sold on the black market in the 1950s. Well, straight ahead at 6, let's take a live look outside now from our jam cam of downtown Los Angeles. Paul Johnson has your holiday forecast next. Then those magnificent seven septuplets have a lot to be thankful for tonight. We will tell you why. And later, it's a wonderful life. So what's your favorite holiday movie? We'll show you the list, all that and more, when we come back. 
The Ross After Thanksgiving Sale is exploding with savings. Only $9.99 for women's sweaters. Picture frames $4.99. Fleece tops save up to 60%. Rolling luggage at incredible prices. Jog sets $19.99. Fragrance sets $19.99. Men's sweaters $14.99. Crystal gifts $9.99. Save up to 70% on leather jackets. In fact, save up to 70% throughout the store. Friday, Saturday, Sunday only. Doors open 8 a.m. Friday. Get a jump on holiday shopping during Best Buy's Great Gift Sale this Friday and Saturday. You'll find thousands of markdowns on great gifts, like the number one box office hit Men in Black for just $13.99, a forehead VCR with front AV inputs for just $99.99, or a Magnavox 5-disc CD player with remote for just $88.99. Shop early from 8 a.m. to noon on Friday and take $2 off every CD, price $9.99 or more. Hurry, these great prices only last two days this Friday and Saturday. Best Buy, now that's a great idea. Why are all these people smiling? They just got a great deal on a 1997 Lincoln, and so can you. Right now, get $5,000 cash back on a contemporary V8-powered 97 Continental. Or drive off smiling with up to $5,000 cash back on a sporty 97 Mark 8. But hurry, time is running out on your last chance to get big cash back on a 97 Lincoln. So see your Lincoln dealer now and start smiling. Lincoln, what a luxury car should be. We don't have sales. We have everyday low prices. If somebody does happen to run a special, we're going to beat it. Why do you need sales? To me, that's just saying to the customer, well, okay, we're going to jack up our prices, and then every once in a while, we're going to give the customer a break. We're really good with this price thing. I, you know, I like this. It's bargain into the bedrock in the store. You always get it for less at Home Depot. Dress up your windows with Level or Window Treatments. They come in a wide variety of styles, and they're at a guaranteed low price every day at the Home Depot. A non-traditional Thanksgiving event in Plymouth, Massachusetts today where some Native Americans protested. The United American Indians of New England have been holding what they call a National Day of Mourning on Thanksgiving for more than 25 years now. The protest was peaceful in the beginning, but later a melee broke out. About 20 of the protesters were arrested. The trouble apparently started when the demonstrators defied police orders and tried to march through the historic center of Plymouth. Now a family that truly has a miracle to celebrate on this Thanksgiving Day, the McCoys and their magnificent seven. Doctors say these beautiful babies are doing very well today on their eighth day of life. Six of the seven newborns are breathing on their own and are listed in fair condition. Experts say their overall odds of surviving are now at 98%. Mom and dad plan to spend most of the holiday, of course, at the hospital with their new babies. They look so healthy. Well, a gorgeous day here in California, but a sudden storm took everyone by surprise in New Mexico. Now, this is how it looked today in Santa Fe. Snow and rain fell there and all the way to Albuquerque. The storm didn't drop too much, but it was enough to close down one major road. Luckily, most people were indoors enjoying their holiday meals, so no one was injured. Well, a bit of misery yesterday, but we certainly recovered today. That's right. Paul Johnson's got more on the weekend weather forecast post-Thanksgiving. Paul. We recovered beautifully. What a gorgeous day here in Southern California. Wonderful Thanksgiving Day. I celebrated the same way as the president. 18 holes in the morning, and I come in to get to be with you in the afternoon. What could be better than that? Let's check some numbers for you while we look at the view from our Long Beach cam over downtown Long Beach. We had a high today of 65 degrees. Low of 48 degrees. It's going to be cool and chilly tonight as well. It is now currently 62, humidity 54%. Looking at the barometer, that stands at 29.94. Rising winds out of the west at about 5 miles an hour. Almanac information, normal high and low. Sunrise tomorrow morning, 637. The sun will be setting at 444. Quick look at a weather net school. This is a Royal High School in El Monte. Current temperature 55, and they had two one hundredths of an inch. Just a trace of moisture in the wee small hours of the morning. Let's go to our West Coast satellite picture for you tonight. Clear and chilly. This is cuddling weather tonight. It is going to be very cool weather tonight. Put on an extra blanket. An extra uh, jacket might be handy as well. Friday, mostly sunny. For the weekend, we have some rain coming in on Sunday. Here's what we can expect. A frontal system will be moving into northern and central California late Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. That will drop further south and Sunday morning. We'll have some rain showers, gusty winds again. That front will clear out. A second cold front coming through in the afternoon could bring some showers in the afternoon as well, and there could be some thunder showers mixed in with this moisture as well. Snow dropping down in the uh, mountains up at the upper elevations for you. It is going to be good air quality throughout the basin, except for downtown. They expect some moderate air quality. 
Uh, here's what I mean by this is cool weather tonight for us here in California. 22 degrees up at Big Bear, Palmdale, 32, 44 for Santa Barbara, Van Nuys, 43 degrees. This is cool weather tonight. Got to turn the electric blank up. Maybe eight or nine would be in order. 70s, low 70s in the valleys, upper 60s, some uh, scattered low 70s along the coastal areas. Here's the five-day forecast for you. High tomorrow, 72, 70 on Saturday. Rain coming in again on Sunday. Then it will clear out again for Monday and Tuesday, and we'll get temperatures back up in the 70s again. So keep that umbrella handy. You're going to do it. We see you tonight at 11 o'clock. Okay, thanks so much, Paul. So far, Americans show no signs they're going to splurge on gifts this holiday season. A new poll gives merchants very little to cheer about. In an Associated Press poll, only 12% said they'll spend more money on gifts this year. But the majority of Americans polled say they'll spend about the same as last year. 31% plan to scale back their holiday shopping sprees. And the poll shows that despite the strong economy, consumers remain rather cautious. Well, coming up, Talk about traditions. Fred Rogan is live having turkey at home. Fred? Hey, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving. We've got the whole gang here, and the young Haley Marie Rogan will be joining us as we have Thanksgiving from the Rogan household in just a few moments. We will see you there. <laughs> BMW 750. Think we understand each other? Oh, give it a rest, 007. Your odds of getting hit by lightning are 1 in 600,000. Your odds of winning the lottery are 1 in 18 million. But come into any AirTouch store this weekend, and your odds of winning a year of AirTouch cellular service are a whole lot better. 37 AirTouch stores, 37 drawings, 37 chances to win 12 months of free airtime and a free Motorola StarTac phone. Just visit any AirTouch store this weekend. For the one nearest to you, call 1-800-AIRTOUCH. Your odds of winning are pretty good. When it comes time for Christmas shopping, I always start at Walmart. Holiday savings begin this Friday at 6 a.m. at Walmart, when men's and women's fleece tops and bottoms are just $4.88 each. They're great. Their prices are great. The Orion Forehead VCR with remote is only $99.96. As soon as the doors open, I am there. And the Orion 13-inch TV with remote is just $99.96. This Friday, 6 to 11 a.m. at Walmart. This is where holiday savings begin. This Thanksgiving weekend, the action's at your Ford dealer. It's the Ford Action Weekend, with less than 100 hours to cash in on the kind of low payments you've been waiting for. A 1.9% APR for 48 months on every new car in your Ford dealer showroom, plus Windstars and Rangers, low rates, juicy terms, bite-sized payments. But get there by Monday, because by Tuesday, the only leftovers are gonna be turkey. Well, this guy gets to work from home. Enjoy that turkey as well. I guess. Fred, what are you doing there? Your kids are so well behaved. This is not like your family. Oh, for now, <laughs> Kelly. Happy Thanksgiving. Here we are. This was a, an event we started many, many years ago, and I got to do it because nobody else thought of it first. And we are back for Thanksgiving from the Rogan household. You probably remember these two, Jeff and Shannon, <laughs> my lovely wife, Rochelle, and the newest addition to the Rogan family, Haley Marie Rogan, a year and a half. Remember when she was born? Can you say hi, honey? Honey, can you say cha cha cha? <laughs> there it is. Oh, very very good. Haley Marie with cha cha cha. All of the relatives are here as well. And what we're gonna? Yeah, you got it, honey. Who is that? Daddy. What? Daddy. That is Daddy. Oh, she's watching can on TV. See? Can you see? Can you say hi? Say hi. 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 How are you? Oh, you got there it you go. All right. That's you, sweetie. All right. That, that is, that's the baby and that's you. Lee, come on over. What we're going to do here as a family on Thanksgiving is all do the highlights together. Jeff, Shannon, Rochelle, you ready? Yeah, ready. Here we go. Cowboys and Oilers. We will start by going to Texas, the Cowboys and the Oilers. Dallas quarterback Troy Aikman played 
despite back spasms and warm-ups. First quarter, Aikman after he was intercepted. The Oilers fourth and goal at the one. Steve McNair to Eric Norgard on the tackle eligible. Seven to nothing, Tennessee still in the first. Aikman still struggling. This time picks up by Daryl Lewis, who had two in the game. Lewis ruled down at the one. The Oilers would cross for 14 to zero. Aikman intercepted three times. More bad news for the Cowboys. They not only lost Deion Sanders to a fractured rib, they lost Emmett Smith with a shoulder injury. Second quarter, the capper down 17-7. Aikman to Eric Bjornsson. He was hammered and fumbled. Marcus Robertson picked it up on the run and was gone. 42 yards for the score. The Oilers win 27-14 and drop the Cowboys to 6-7. and seven. Outstanding work, gang. Okay, let's move on. Here we go to the Silverdome. Heads were going to roll between the Lions and Bears. Another big day for Barry Sanders. Second quarter. Lions rallied from a 14-point deficit. Sanders just working his way through the defense and beating it to the end zone. 40-yard score. Lions were trailing 20-17 to 17 at the half. Third quarter, Detroit broke it open with more from Sanders. This time, he, his fancy footwork ended up in a 25-yard touchdown. Sanders, three scores and 167 yards to move into second place on the NFL's all-time rushing list. Also matched the mark of 11 straight 100-yard games. The tray was ready in Detroit. It was actually bear meat as the Lions won big 55-20. to 20. Outstanding work. Outstanding work. There you have the Lions highlights. There you had the Oilers and the Cowboys. Let's bring Haley back. Haley, Haley, do you have anything to say? Just no problem. Yeah, well, that's very important. And anything else you'd like to share with the folks here on this Thanksgiving? Very, 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 That's right. Can you say happy birthday? Happy boy. There you go. Okay. All right, now quickly, let me say Andre Agassi back in action today. We go to Burbank. How about some tennis? Agassi playing his second match in a satellite tour event to get in shape for 98, took on Brandon Coop, who made it a good workout to get hungry for Thanksgiving dinner. Agassi winning this point with a perfect lob on the first set, 7-6. Second set didn't take long. Agassi, the winner off his serve. He needed only 67 minutes to win in straight sets. His next match in tomorrow is tomorrow right here in Burbank. Very, very good. You may have noticed now that uh, my mother-in-law, Tina, has joined us here on the couch because she had to be in. All right, there's our sister-in-law, Linda, who, by the way, is expecting her first child. Okay, over here we have our father-in-law, Roger. Swing around, Lee. Let's get everybody in. There is Roger, Linda's husband, and his two dogs, Whitney and Sonny. Whitney recovering from recent dog surgery. And over there we have the grandparents, Nani and Ralph, are here today as well. So that is it. And as my wife Rochelle just said, folks, if this ain't must-see TV, then what is? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. Happy Happy to you too, Fred. And to you. Amazing. Have a How great night. Haley speaks Russian or something. Happy <laughs> bowl, she said. Adequate substitute yeah. for her dad. <laughs> All right, a quick look now at some of the stories we're working on for the Channel 4 News at 11. Now, this well-known Mexican journalist seen here attacked today by gun-toting terrorists. We'll have the very latest on what might have triggered that attack. And scary moments at the Macy's Day Parade today when the winds wreaked havoc. More from the people who were there tonight at 11 o'clock. And NASA was busy on this Thanksgiving launching a rocket into space, all for the good of the planet. This rocket is carrying what is called the Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission Satellite. NASA launched it today from Japan. It's designed to measure precipitation, helping scientists understand changes in global rainfall and climate. This is the first satellite ever dedicated solely to tropical rainfall rates. Mm, interesting. That was a mouthful, too, wasn't it? It was. Coming up, what's your favorite holiday movie? We'll have The Big List coming up next. This Thanksgiving weekend, NBC's got four big movies. There's Clark Griswold, Richie Rich. The Brady Bunch. That's groovy. Jurassic Park will help wash down that dinner on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Then meet the kid who's got it all. Yes. We sure ain't kidding. The Brady's in their first big movie. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And top it off on Sunday with some tree trimming duty. <laughs> Jurassic Tonight, Richie Friday, Brady Saturday, Vacation Sunday. All Thanksgiving weekend on NBC. <laughs> Where once these ancient nameplates ruled, now each of them succumbs. For paradigms doth shift when something wicked this way comes. Introducing an automobile that outperforms the competition everywhere, including the bottom line, the faster, sleeker, meaner GS. 
see it now at your Southern California Lexus dealer. You don't have to shop all over the city this weekend. Just come to Circuit City's Holiday Sale, where every great gift idea has a guaranteed low price. Like this three-disc mini audio system with remote, only $99.99. Or this hi-fi stereo VCR with remote, now just $139.99. Circuit City's friendly experts can answer all your questions, and you'll find hundreds of sale prices on the best TVs, computers, home and car audio, and more. It's all going on now at Circuit City's Holiday Sale. It's Toyota's 10-day Thanksgiving sales event. Now the redesigned 98 Corolla LE is $1,100 less than last year. Or lease a Corolla CE for just $189 a month. With dual airbags and air conditioning, it's only $189. With a four-speaker deluxe stereo, the Corolla is still only $189. Hurry, this Thanksgiving sales event ends soon. Now, get connected to the power of NBC4 and MSNBC on the Internet. It's the news you want when you want it. All on one website, NBC4LA.com. Tis the season to share some holiday cheer and get ready for your favorite Christmas movies. It's a Wonderful Life tops the list, according to a St. Louis marketing research firm. They quizzed 1,000 people, and the Jimmy Stewart classic was the big winner of the holiday movies. In second place, Miracle on 34th Street, the original one. Then, A Christmas Carol. After that, The Santa Claus. And the favorite TV specials include Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Frosty the Snowman. I like The Grinch That Stole Christmas. I like family and food. <laughs> Thanks so much for making us your number one choice for the news at 6 o'clock. Yeah, second meal tonight. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> NBC Nightly News is coming up next. Happy Thanksgiving.